the old saying goes, graphics don't always make the game. But what if you could have your cake and eat it too? Ninja Theory's newest title, Heavenly Sword, is as bold as its protagonist's lavish red hair, seeking to unify the yin and yang of style and substance in delivering an ultimate martial arts epic. In this tale, players take on the role of Noriko, a scarlet-haired beauty whose clan is the bearer of a revered object known only as the Heavenly Sword. It's a mercurial weapon unparalleled in destructive power and grace. Terrifying as it is awe-inspiring, whoever wields the blade will eventually die. It's also the object of desire of King Botan, the ruling monarch. Obsessed by its power, Botan launches an assault on the clan in a bid to obtain the sword, killing many of Noriko's relatives and comrades in the process. Wrought with grief, Noriko takes up the deadly blade in one final act of revenge against Botan and his court, thinking nothing of the sacred sword slowly taking her life. Heavenly Sword takes Noriko across several chapters striated by levels. Within these levels, players will find a steady mix of modern action hack and slash staples. When Noriko isn't making chop suey out of her assailants, she'll find herself embroiled in a number of puzzles and interactive cinemas that'll have her utilizing creative maneuvers to overcome obstacles. One puzzle has Noriko tossing shields guided by the six axis controls to hit switches, while a platforming section requires the player to flawlessly execute a string of button presses to scale the walls of a building. Fun will care when I got you like a stinking fish! Born and raised in a clan of warriors, Noriko herself is gifted with combat prowess that is augmented further by the Heavenly Sword. With it, she has access to three battle stances, speed, range, and power. Using these styles changes the appearance of the sword as well as its properties, turning from a pair of chained short swords, similar to Kratos' Chaos Blades, into a daunting two-handed broadsword. As enemies attack, they emit one of three colors, heralding their strike, blue, orange, or red. To counter, players have to shift to a corresponding stance to block and parry these incoming attacks, or roll away with the right analog stick. With dozens of enemies on screen at a time, all with their own assigned AI, players will find themselves using these styles and parrying maneuvers to stay alive. Apart from combo sets available in each stance that gradually increase as Noriko progresses through the game, there are also aerial combos that take enemies into the sky with an upward lift of the six axis, as well as devastating full screen attacks known as super styles. In addition, Noriko can interact with her environment by breaking and throwing objects around her with the game's Havoc physics engine, giving her a tactical edge in combat. The build of Heavenly Sword that we have is brief, yet enticing. Our interest in the game was set on idle before we received it, but now we can't wait to play more. Be sure to come back next month as we step into battle with Noriko in our full review of the game.